Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Um, today's tutorial, I want to show you how to take a file that you have created in Inkscape and upload it into Cricut Design Space. Um, I skipped that step a lot in my videos and um, I've gotten a lot of questions on, okay, well now I've created it, how do I get it over into Design Space? Um, I'm not sure why I skipped that, but I do. So this video is going to cover it. That, that's what we're going to do here. So I have this file. Um, this works with anything that you create in Inkscape, but I just want to show you that it does work with several layers as well. This file has uh, five layers, pink, purple, white, blue, four layers. Uh, let's see if I ungroup this. You can see that I am moving each of these layers around. This one up. Come here, layer. There's a white one here somewhere. There's the white one. Okay. And so here are the four layers that I have for this project. Um, I had created kind of a main, a shadow, then an offset, and a final offset. Okay, so let me center all of this so that it's pretty again. Align, center. Okay, so now it's looking all pretty like I intended it. I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to group it together. I, I can go to Object, Group, or I can hit Control G, G whatever way you want to get it all grouped. Um, it, it's not important imperative that you do that. It just makes it cleaner when you get it into uh, Cricut Design Space if you group your project together. And then I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down so that it fits my work area. Again, not imperative, but if you don't do this when you put it over in Design Space, it's going to be one of those huge files. Okay, so we've got that. Um, it's grouped and it's shrunk to fit in my work area. I'm going to go to Come uh, File save as okay it's automatically going to save it as an inkscape svg that is what you want there are other options you can save as a plain svg compressed inkscape compressed plain optimized all of this gets really confusing just go with inkscape svg it's going to have everything you need to get over into design space name it i'm going to name this um it's already beautiful, but I want to name it something else. Let's do for Cricut. Okay. And then decide where you want to save it. I'm saving it to my desktop. You can save it wherever you want. So save. Okay. Now, come over into Design Space. Open yourself a new project. And come over here to Upload. Then come search for um, what we just did. So I think we named that for Cricut. Scroll down for Cricut SVG, open. There it is. It's all lined up because I grouped it all together and I'm ready to import it. So just come over here and click save. Click my design, insert my design. Here it is in a nice manageable size with all of its layers. From here, I will ungroup and then I can pick apart the layers one by one. Let me show you what happens if you don't group it all together. Let me come back over here. I'm gonna make this a little bigger so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna ungroup the file, and I am just going to move it all around. Okay, so now I've got kind of just things everywhere, and I've got it bigger. Let me make it even bigger. I've got it bigger than my work page. Oops, I wanna get all of it. Okay, no, I don't know why my thing doesn't want to work with me today. <laughs> and this layer didn't get bigger, but that's okay. You're going to see what's going to happen. So now if I save this, I'm saving the revisions I just made, come back into Cricut. Let's delete this one and upload the saves that we just made. Where did it go? It was for Cricut. That's what we named it. Okay. Now you can see, look, that's all over the place, but it'll still go in if we hit save and we select it and we insert it into our project. Now it's bigger 
and it's not um, grouped together the way we want it to be, but it is still grouped. I, this is all one thing. So I'd have to ungroup it and then work with each piece individually to get it where I want it. And this one isn't even the right size. But so there it is. That's all you need to do. When you're in Inkscape, you just design whatever it is you want to design. Make sure it's a path, guys. Um, I tell you that in all of the videos, but you cannot just take text. Type in some text, make it the size you want, hit save, and think that you're going to put that into design space. Let's see what happens here. It's the same file. So let me upload. I just saved the same file, but it's going to look different now. For Cricut, okay. And you see what happens here? The uploaded SVG contains the following items that are not supported. Text. So if you if you do that, it's it's not going to work. There, there's no nothing. It's not an SVG. You have to come back over here and turn this into an SVG, turn this into a path. So I've got this selected path, object to path, and now it is, um, it's got its nodes. And if I did this again, if I save this, and again, I haven't sized it or done any kind of grouping or connecting. I'm just saving the revisions after I turn this into a path. Come into design space, upload it again. And it's there. Okay, that's all you do. Save it as an Inkscape SVG. Make sure that whatever design you have in Inkscape is turned into a path and you'll know it's a path for one it'll say path down here and if you click on these nodes you can see nodes if you just take your regular text and you click into this and you click on the nodes nothing's gonna happen because it's not a path and then save as Inkscape SVG name it and put it in design space and that's it that's all you got to do thanks guys